Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany. How are you? We do vlogs, hauls, fiber arts, anything related to knitting on this channel. And today is another yarn corner. If you guys are new here, the yarn corners, we just talk about finished pieces that I've done, whether that be like knitting or crochet or anything like that, uh, things I've been working on, and then things that I've bought or things that I want to buy within this month, I guess the previous month that I talk about in this current month today i am wearing oh my gorgeous my beautiful she's my again i say everything is my everything and then it feels like everything is actually just everything and i'm not just like loving this one piece um anyway <laughs> this is the typical mohair slipover i have been really liking it it just looks really nice by itself but usually like i like to wear stuff with t-shirts i don't know my shoulders feel like a little bare but it I don't know it like is honestly like a really nice fit <laughs> I like can't stop looking at myself um the color green I think is honestly such a statement I think the green with the jeans I'm just telling you guys things that I <laughs> I'm just like styling these pieces I love the way it feels I love the way it makes me feel as well I'm wearing like a tank top under this so like it doesn't feel too scratchy at all so maybe we'll do this more for the springtime and I'm really excited because yes please um this is in uh, a knit crate yarn that I got a while ago a DK weight you can just get it's like this green and then I'm just holding it with two strands of drops kids Silk mohair and they're like apple green and I think maybe it's their only green I wish I knew but it is my glorious babe I love like look at me like I cannot stop just like feeling it up like this um just because it's like it's just like a nice really cozy piece even though it's just like a slip over I love how the double ribbing came out um I did tubular bind off and it's amazing and it's now like I actually like two by two ribbing I used to like hate it like I used to be one by one only but this guy honestly makes me reconsider all of my choices <laughs> Um, I'll probably, like, I really want to do, like, a two-strand mohair with, like, another strand of something, sweater, and then just have, like, two-by-two two ribbing, but have it, like, super long, because I love long. I don't know, we'll see, um, if we can do that, because if we can do that, I would be, like, the happiest person, but I am literally, like, the slowest person with making it patterns. I just hate the process of writing. Like, I'll put, like, I'll make a notebook and just, like, write down, like, all the, like, the math that I did but like having to write it all out is so tedious I am the worst person ever um so if you can be patient with me there it's so funny there's like this bra pattern um that I saw I'll try to post like an image of it and I was in love like absolutely in love with it and I was like waiting for the pattern and then I forgot about it and then we talked about it in the stream and then I saw it again checked and the girl doesn't have the pattern up yet it's been like half a year and I was like why is she taking so long to, like come on girl I was gonna message her but then I remember I'm the exact same person so uh she can take all the time she needs I will wait endlessly and um stop being such a hypocrite second piece i will show this is also another piece that i made myself dude i have been making so many patterns just like up by myself and it has been super like rewarding i feel like really good about making my own pieces making pieces that i've always kind of wanted like i know you guys know i love petite knit i love my favorite things knitwear and stuff like that but sometimes they just don't have like these basic pieces that i feel like need to be in my wardrobe or like maybe I see it somewhere like in a store and I'm like I want that but then there is no pattern for it so I feel like I've been doing that a lot recently and my life just feels a lot better so this guy is this oversized v-neck kind of um I guess vest I don't know why I call it a vest and then I call this a slipover I don't know um but I have always wanted to do like a vest that has um, kind of, you know, the, the champagne cardigan or the cardigan eight, like I wanted that type of button band and just, oh my goodness gracious. She, okay. Like, yeah, she's a little bit like, um, she's, she's a little wrinkled, but you know, she's been loved. So I actually made pockets, which I've been meaning to block and then put on this guy, but then I want to just put like pockets right here. I just think it would be glorious. So this is just the button band. She's so cute. I... I'm very happy and we used again I finished up a knit crate yarn it's like my <laughs> my entire life is just like trying to find pieces 
to use my knit crate yarn. But obviously I could probably sell some too, but I don't know. It's just like a nice gray. Like I feel like I'm in my gray era. I mean green, but also like my gray era. And oh, I still gotta put tags on these. But I was like super fast to like blocking these guys because I just really wanted to see how they would come up with. Um, I knitted this also with one drops kid silk mohair. Um, I think in the charcoal color and it, it, oh. I don't know, just mohair is just doing me good right now. So we're just kind of trying to follow that path. Um, even though I have talked about wanting to just do a non mohair piece, I don't know. I just like fall back in love with mohair and then I'm like, okay, you got me here. Which is like totally fine with me currently until, you know, the bank account runs out. <laughs> Uh, and then I think, oh, we do have one more finished piece. Okay, so this is <laughs> the weekend uh, headband. I had some leftover Simply Wool Worsted. Um, so this is the same color as my Louvre sweater. And it was just enough. Like I just like had just a little bit of scrap and it made me feel so good. Just like finishing up scraps, just feeling like, you know, I've completed something and like, like winning yarn chicken is always the best. Um, Cause like I've had like this little cake of like 60 grams, just like being like, what are you gonna do with me? Like just sitting about and I'm like, okay, give me like two years and then we got it. So this is her. I know I was, oh, actually, oh, she's kind of like a turtleneck. Okay, sorry. Um, I actually haven't tried wearing this like up like this. oh my gosh oh oh she's a cutie <laughs> I really I okay well I fell in love with this one fell in love with the weekend um, hat as well just cuz I mean my my ears will be forever warm and I feel like this is the best accessory for like my long hair right now um, but I fell in love with like her little tags she has like these little tags that you can like sew right like like a loop kind of around here and you can do that with the hat as well so I'm like waiting for me to like figure out a purchase from petite knit so then I can like order the tags because you can't like if you buy the tags then you have to pay like normal shipping instead of just like a paper letter mail shipping it's it hurts me or else I would have bought them right away so and this is she she's not complete yet without the tag yet so that's fine I have been Oh. oh, so like in the last stream, it was so funny. I was talking about wanting to make a knitting for all of purchase and then knitting for all of actually, uh, they did kind of one of their charity day, I guess, events. I don't even know what you would call it. And so I, I, I bought stuff. Do I feel bad? No, because I said I was going to do it and it just felt like the right time. Um, but I actually bought um, some compatible cashmere, which I want to use with that bralette I was talking about before, if that ever comes out. And then I also bought some heavy merino, which I want to make with the weekend hat. And so those are the two last yarns that I haven't tried from Knitting for Olive. And I would love to kind of give like an overall, I guess, review of them all. Because I'm really curious as to how they all work up. I think that is it for finished pieces I know not too many but I did start quite a few things which is also totally fine so this is a continuation of last podcast but if you guys don't know we're also doing the Agnet cardigan cow um talked about it a billion times you, you know if you I'm doing it on the YouTubes if you want to watch us do it along together um but this is where we have come uh, the last time you saw this, it was literally just like a like a band, which is hilarious. But as you can see, lots have happened in a month. Uh, so I I love this guy. I think the gray. I was kind of iffy on the gray choice, but I think it'll work. Cause I mean, it's like a basic. Um, this is knit in the Sunscarn Sunday one zero four five, and then just like a random cone uh, from Color Mart. I think it's it says it's alpaca mohair silk. So I guess it's all three. Oh, thirty five percent alpaca, thirty five percent mohair, and thirty percent silk. There you go. Um, I bought this cone in hopes that it will be enough. I think it's supposed to be 150 grams and usually they give kind of a little bit more I find with Color Mart so I'm hoping it's enough and I think it honestly is really nice 
with the gray that I chose. I in love with these little increase sections. I guess we'll do a little close up and also the border band. I mean, how can we not fall in love with that? I think it's kind of deceiving working on this because like you do this one section and then you do this trapezoid and you're like, oh, she's going by so fast. I'm so good at this. And then you get to the yoke and you're like, ha ha ha, these increases got nothing on me. And then the body, the absolute boss of this body. I like want to give up already, but I mean, we can't because we have the cow in which that in which we love. So I feel like we definitely need to do more cows in the future because I need to like motivate myself and hopefully we motivate you as well. So I have done one button. Where's the button? <laughs> the button is here. She is, so, oh, I mean, so nice. Like how can you even complain? But I will because the button band is, oh, so, so mean. So like, you have to knit up this one section. So you like knit here and then you cut off and then you have to knit not just the button band but also the whole knit until you can bring it back and connect the two together. Um, really cool concept. The way it's worked is really just like it makes sense but I wouldn't have thought of that on my own. We really appreciate the hard work and effort. I feel like that Patina puts in a lot of her brioche pieces. I feel like her brioche pieces are top tier and this is no exception. I have been a little questioning. It's supposed to be eight centimeters every buttonhole. I was thinking of doing nine, but I don't know. I don't know because everyone's saying that this guy's gonna stretch because when I try this guy on, it's so, it's it's like it's like a weird fit. I'm like really hoping she will stretch a bit more. The armhole I guess kind of looks big, but I don't know. I find that whenever I'm knitting a brioche, it's never exactly how it's going to come out after you block it. So it's like kind of like a 50-50. Whereas in like a stockinette, you're kind of like, okay, you're just going to get a little bit looser and nicer. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of contemplating like finishing up the skein and then just working an arm hole. But then, because I usually do that, because this is brioche, if you do knitting in the round, it's not as fun, <laughs> I find. Uh, Cause you have to like alternate versus like if you knit back and forth here, it's the same brioche pattern. Um, so I don't know what we're gonna do, but I'll figure it out on the stream, <laughs> hopefully. Uh, but yeah, I really like her. I think this piece will literally be like a piece, like a an, a work of art like no one's even gonna ask me about the cardigan that I'm wearing you know because it's like oh it's just just it's she just bought that at like a Ritzy or something like she just bought it like no one's gonna t they're, they're not even they're not even gonna think that I handmade this I used to have a very similar cardigan to this and it's kind of weird to know that I'm making something and it's going to be the most beautiful thing I've ever made I think honestly gosh patina it does no wrong okay next I guess this is kind of a finished piece not really but this is a cro crochet piece I was working on it before but I haven't finished it because I haven't made like an inner stuffing so this is ah she's so cute I mean okay yeah sorry ignore just these strands but this is um the pillow that is in crochet crush by Mola Mills I Oh my god, this is gonna make my my room really nice. <laughs> so I had only been working the back side, but I finally finished the front. The front was so easy. She's so cute. I desperately want to make a second one, but I think I think I need to like save that crochet energy for some of her other pieces that are in the book. Like I would love to make the smiley face bag or like do a bag or something, but it's really hard. Again, I've said this so many times, trying to find the yarn. I've been like really racking my brain to figure out like what is the best weight yarn. Um, but yeah, holding the color work, I would say like you can still see like the, the white and like the black pops out, which maybe is not my favorite, but like from afar, she looks amazing. Um, I do think my yarn that I used was a little bit too small. So I think the pillow is technically supposed to be a little bit bigger than this. But, I mean, it's cotton, so I think I might just stretch it a little bit and it'll probably get bigger. This is the We Are Knitters um, Pima Cotton. I used one full ball of the black and then I think like 
less than half the ball of the white one. And I am really excited about using up that yarn. I'm very excited about using up that yarn um, with some really nice... I don't know, home deco. This piece definitely made me want to make more crochet things, like just like around the house. Like she has so many like little posters and like little bags as well. I find that her bags are really nice, but like how many, you know, how many bags do I really need? I really, I would love to make this piece. I don't know. I just think it would be such a nice like little wall art of some sorts and it would use up literally so much yarn next i think we were honestly like on a like whip frenzy i was like how many whips can i start in one month let's let's try it so i was experimenting with this yarn again i i'm, I'm really worried because i'm not sure if i have enough um yarn but i really wanted to do this it's the vika cardigan by My Favorite Things Knitwear. Um, I know lots of people think that it's really similar to the Agnit cardigan, but honestly, in my opinion, I feel like they're totally different. I mean, the Half Fisherman rib is just so, I don't know, just like so uniquely different than a brioche. And it's on such big needles. So this is where I've started. It actually looks quite nice um, back here. But if you kind of see closer, um, actually oh yeah, yeah 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 so like the strand i'm using two strands it's one of them is ecolana and then one of them is some knit crate yarn that i have i dyed like a bunch of them the same color and i was hoping that if i just like mixed it with another yarn like you wouldn't be able to tell uh, and then i could make just like a really pretty card again so i'm hoping that this guy works out like i think it would be really nice Kind of reminds me a little bit, like the color reminds me of my November jacket. So I'm like, I was a little bit if iffy about doing this, but then I showed the swatch on the stream and the stream was like, you have to do it. And I was like, shoot, I have to do it. Um, it's on, I think six millimeter needles, which is like, like big, but I wouldn't say it's like the biggest thing you've ever used. Um, and I, I don't know, maybe I'm just like really into this like trapezoid look. I think this took me like a day, like to do versus the November, which is like, so many more days uh so this guy kind of has been on the back burner because i just feel like i have so many other things i want to be doing um which is probably not great to continuously start new things but i'm going to allow this like creative energy to like flow okay that sounds so silly but like i don't want to stop myself from wanting to make stuff because Whenever I have that feeling of not wanting to make stuff, I hate that feeling. So I want to embrace this feeling. Um, and yeah, I think if you guys really, really, because I know the acne is really scary. Um, I think this is a good chunky alternative. But again, the, the look is very different. I will say the look is very, very different, which I think is nice. I think this year is the year of cardigans and slipovers. We made a billion sweaters last year. Let's get it together. Okay, next one. I I don't know what happened. Your girl was just like feeling herself, must have been. Uh, but I just randomly decided I wanted to make the Terezo neck. So I bought the pattern and I was like, I'm gonna make this. So here she is, if I can find the front or the back. So there it is. I know, so boring, it's black, but Again, I think black is just classic and it's really nice. I think me, me and this and like a couple black dresses or like a black blouse would just look amazing. I did start following like this Danish woman. They're always European, but um, she was wearing like a chorizo neck, but it was like a light color and she was wearing it over like her trench coats and like her, I don't know, sweaters and stuff. And it looked nice and I was like, I need a light version. So. This might not be my last one, but it is definitely my first one. And it is my favorite thing. I tried it on. I mean, I can't try it on now because um, I'm doing the neck. And um, there's no way this head is going to fit through this loop. Um, but I just found that it looked really nice. I was really worried because I have never really seen this kind of look here in Vancouver. Like, I didn't even think that this was even, like, a thing people did at all but it's like such a nice alternative to like wearing a slipover or wearing a sweater or like wearing a, a scarf it's just like a little neck thing 
it's so good. I did find that I didn't like knitting this because it's just like flat. Like this is, this is just fully, I just knitted it flat. It was not the best time. Uh, and I thought it was going slow, but it was actually going really fast and I don't know why I was complaining about it. It's really nice. I knitted this with Drops Kid Silk Mohair and then one strand Drops Kid, nope, Drops Lima. Both in black, really good, I don't know, not stash buster, but just kind of like if you have just enough, then you should do it. Like not enough for a slipover, but like just enough for like this little thing. I like cannot recommend this guy enough. I haven't even worn this yet, but I need to block it and it needs to look adorable on me. I have been like, okay, I've only done it twice, but in my opinion, that's like already like a, a start to something. I have been posting like looks that I've been wearing on my Instagram stories and I want to keep that up and then put it on like a little highlight because I want to get better at it and I want to like start wearing clothes. Like I saw a TikTok that was like, to, to romanticize your life, like just start dressing like beautifully. <laughs> I was like, okay, guess I got to do that. Um, but, uh, whenever I do dress up or at least like change at least out of my PJs, it does feel, it does feel like a good day. So, uh, we'll try to keep that up and we'll try to post outfits because people ask me and I feel like I never deliver. Finally, I think finally, I don't think I have anything more. Actually, not important, but I guess I'll just give an update. It's just a sock update. I'm so close. We have we have one and a half diamonds left to go. Be proud of me. And we will almost be done this sock. And then we can start the third sock of the year, which I feel good. Even though like literally I'm only finishing like half of a sock. Like if you know the Crispedia, I had finished the first sock. <laughs> so technically I've only really been knitting like one sock, not even a set each month, but I think that is good for me. I would love to start another sock, but I don't really know what. I do have this Will in the Gang yarn that's really nice. I probably should find a pattern for and knit it because I do really like sock knitting. It's, I don't know, just weirdly therapeutic, just knitting on like a two and a half or like a 2.25. You just feel so dainty. You feel like you're knitting something for like a miniature thing. Um, I do really want to make uh, the penguin that I talked about in a, I think the winter Christmas planning um, video that I did. And I want to make like a little sweater and stuff. I keep seeing all these like little frogs and like their little outfits. And I feel like I just need to find the right amount of scrap yarn and I can do it. Okay, finally, finally, my, my beauty of a piece. I'm so excited about her. Um, so I did, or I'm trying to slowly incorporate more uh, Noro into my shop. I love holding Noro, it makes me so happy. Um, and uh, the struggle with it is just finding really good colors. So I recently stumbled upon this color. It's amazing. It's from, it's Noro Viola. I have never tried it before and I'm trying to like try, go out of my comfort zone um, because Petite Knit I feel like is just a tiny bit too slow for me with coming out with Noro like esque pieces because she technically only has one and that's too slow for me so I just thought to myself like I sh like because I'm in this weird like making my own pattern uh, mojo that I should try and just make more stuff with different Noro pieces because I find that I feel like there's always more Noro out there but people just don't really know or like can't like don't know where to get it you know because it's so hard um so this is, again, so this is my piece for the viola. Um, it is in the color Takahashi number 21. Again, I have some in the stock in the store uh, if you want to grab some. But uh, everyone voted for a cardi, so we're making a cardigan. Um, and, yeah, I just thought to show you guys the different, I guess, I don't know. I don't want to say that this is, like, different variegation. But, like, the base is purple. You got, like, hints of green, hints of red, brown. I love this little turquoise that comes up. It's a delight to knit with. As always, I found that my Noro is so fun to knit just because of, like, the colors that keep coming by. You're like, oh, my gosh, I got to keep going. Um, 
so yeah, the plan is, is to, I know you can't really see it, but I want to make, I feel like I haven't seen this anywhere, but kind of like a, they just think of like a sweater just cut down in the middle, um, that has like a collar like this, but it's a cardigan and I just want to make something like that. Um, so the plan is, is to only use two skeins of this. I think it's definitely way more than enough to make, um, a cardigan with. Like, I find that Noro is highly deceptive. People like are like oh my gosh like it's so expensive I'm gonna have to buy so much yarn but like like this whole guy this guy has 400 meters in it like it's so much yarn um it's kind of like a DK to worsted to bulky um just because it's not always the same like sometimes it's like really thin well not really really thin but like thin enough where you're like okay these are visibly different so that's why I decided to put a mohair um this is the mohair that I decided to use it is just I think it's like a May I, I got it from Hobby it's like a Mayweather May feather lilac color but I think you could honestly see it this lilac color anywhere um and I just have a bunch of it I have like I think I have four if I can get away with like just using up four that would be lovely um but we're scared about that um and yeah I love knitting this guy it's so fun to knit up and um it's kind of scary though at the same time because again this isn't like a pattern I'm like coming up with it myself um but I think honestly oh my gosh it'll look out like so cozy this and like white pants stop okay we're very excited uh, we're truly truly excited about that guy yeah i think that is it um sorry oh my gosh i didn't realize i forgot something i totally forgot to talk about this at all that's hilarious what even am i um i'm wearing a hoodie because it got cold but um just wanted to mention this is the technicolor pillow that i am doing I just wanted to <laughs> mention it. I'm doing it in the 60 centimeter by 40 centimeter. This is by Petite Knit. Um, it is one darn good damn piece. Oh my goodness gracious. So this is the back side. But honestly, like I've been loving the back side. And then this is the front side. I've been kind of thinking maybe I'll just make a pillow and do it with the back side. Um, but I'm using three strands. I'm using two strands of Drops Flora in the white and the off white. And then you now the super soft whole scarn in almond. I just wanted to just quickly talk about that. I'm really excited about it. I really do want to finish this guy, but it's honestly like a temperature blanket. Like I feel like I can only do like two rows each day. And I feel like even then I barely get anything done. It's such a slow burn. It's like even slower than the Agnete cardigan. But yeah, sorry, I just wanted to mention it. Um, and put this clip in. I'm so sorry. Okay, bye. I do just want to quickly show off some yarn that I got as a gift. So this is from a local yarn store here in Vancouver. They're called Your Next Knit. Smita, she recently reached out to me and she wanted to give a discount code for you guys. So I'll link it in the description below, but um, you can get a discount if you use the code from her shop. And she let me choose what kind of yarn I wanted to try, something new that I haven't tried before. And I have always wanted to try this yarn. So this is Roma yarn or Roma Garn. This is the Finnel. I have seen Inga from Knitting Traditions use this. I'm pretty sure. I hope I'm not wrong, but I do. I'm pretty sure <laughs> I've seen her use this. It is so flipping nice i'm so excited to try it out and she also sent me roma garn plum so it's like the mohair this is just like a mohair equivalent it's 70 percent super kid mohair 30 percent polyamide and this guy is 100 percent a norwegian wool and it is in the color 4078 uh, and this one is 055 um and I am so excited to try it out. Um, I don't know what I'm going to make yet. Probably another slip over of some sort. Oh my gosh. Like you guys know I love a good rustic. And I feel like this is, this is, this is like rustic. I wouldn't say like, this is not like a Sunday, you know? Sunday is like smooth, feels really commercial. This guy feels like such a piece of wool like it reminds me very similar to Tov if you guys have tried Sunnisgar and Tov um it comes with oh it's 175 meters so it's a little bit 
So yeah, I say I would say this is a little bit more like a Tov. Um, and I'm really excited to try it with this mohair because you know I'm on this like mohair hunt slowly, okay? We can't do it all at once. But slowly, um, I really do want to try more mohair. This guy feels, I would say, less silky, less more fluffy, more almost like an alpaca uh, versus like a mohair. <laughs> Me just like feeling up on everything. Thank you again so much. Um, and I cannot wait to make a piece with this guy. So then I just wanted to give a little update. I'll post on Instagram kind of like showing the colors and everything, but I wanted to give an update on my Mononoke Bliss collection as well as show off some of the sock yarns that I'm doing for the Patreon, you know, just so, you know, if you don't look at my Instagram or you don't look at the Patreons, then you know uh, exactly what all the colors look like and uh, I'll keep you up to date. Cause everyone, I, I always get like people being like, when, when are you gonna post about it? Like, are you gonna uh, tell us when the pre-order is gonna be and all that stuff? So um, I just wanna be thorough and make sure everyone has the chance to see all the colors and stuff like that. So just want to show first, this is uh, the December yarns. It is uh, in correlation with the Castle in the Sky. So these are the two colors that we came up with. So it's a sock set. Um, if you bought it in December, then this is the yarn that you're gonna be getting. Um, and then it'll also be available on the secret shop. So if you're part of the Patreon, then you can access the secret shop and you can buy this whenever you want to. Um, so this guy is Laputa and this is Sheeta. So I just thought that they combined really nicely. It's just like a really nice kind of seafoam green. They go really nice together. They're very, I don't know, yeah, complimentary. I just wanted to encapsulate I guess the entire like castle in the sky vibe, like the look of it, of it itself, just the forest and the greenery. And yeah, she's really cute. I love this guy to smithereens. Um, and I'm really, really excited to get these guys out with the stitch markers and the stickers, um, which again, thank you everyone for being so patient. It takes so long to, <laughs> to dye the yarns to come up with the colors to you know order the stitch markers to make the stickers and then draw the stickers um it is a long process and i'm kind of trying to find i guess like a rhythm or trying to figure out how i can get it done in an efficient way um so that has been kind of a toughie and then this is for the january yarns this guy is um, for the month of the Princess Mononoke. Uh, so this guy is Wolf Girl and this one is San. Um, in respect to, again, Princess Mononoke, it's just a really nice basic color. I, I feel like even though, you know, like Princess Mononoke, she's like really tough on the outside, you know, she has a very gentle, subtle kind of in, inner look so that's why we went with the really subtle colors um and i just thought that the brown just would look amazing in a sock but also just as maybe like an accent maybe like a stripe or something we really like that and again so adorable then finally finally i know i think i said like finally like a billion times in this video um but i just wanted to show off the princess mononoke or the mononoke bliss collection um i really had so much fun experimenting colors and like different colorways for this collection i literally watched princess mononoke while i was you know dying up this yarn and it really just gave me life so first one off the bat oh this navy so so gorgeous this is lady boshi because she's a strong woman and i just wanted this really dark kind of strong color it is a tonal i just found that the i don't know the navy the it, it kind of gives off like a little violet color um or indigo i would say it's just Ex like encapsulates who sh this lady was. I didn't want to do something too drastic, but just found that, um, I don't know, just everything about this color was this woman and um, I really liked how it came up. So first tonal, 
second tonal, which is like kind of a tonal, but I would say that it's not strictly like all the same color all through the way. Like you can see like the lights and darks, which I really, really enjoyed about it. So this guy, oh, is Ashitaka, my love, my boy, my man, Ashitaka. So I really liked this color. I thought this was, I mean, honestly, like the one color that he was wearing the entire time. Um, but it, again, solid. We're thinking the tonals. We're thinking this man is a solid. We can trust him with anything. Like he, he needs a solid. So I just thought it was the cutest little, like, I don't want to say, like, gr it's like a greeny blue. Like it's not a true blue. It's like that kind of like off green blue um, but it's not technically like a turquoise um, and we really enjoyed doing this guy she or I guess he he's well loved and liked I just think this again I mean fully like these guys just as sweaters are like would be amazing I feel like the blue is in like I saw this video that said like baby blue is in we'll come up with a new blue baby boo but like right now we're just like in our blue moment you know and then so final tonal this is moro so i guess the kind of the wolf goddess which i thought was so nice um it's just a really classic gray i thought you know we can't have all these ambitious crazy colors we need like a good solid so this is just a really nice subtle gray I think it's very simple very just stoic and very yeah traditional and I thought that that really um, is what stood out to me again this guy with like a sparkle like a Stellina a silver Stellina you would be gorgeous so again just a nice basic you know maybe we'll just have her in like my ultimate collection we might uh, live for her but again just perfect gray these are my three tonals it is a very basic this is a relatively small collection like I didn't want it to be like a really big one but rather like a small one so I can incorporate more of these throughout the year like I guess technically this will be my first collection of the year um and I want to do a lot more like I don't want to just kind of do I think last year I only did like three right so we want to we want to we want to do a, we want to do a couple more so really love this and i cannot wait to swatch these guys <laughs> yeah we'll be swatching them and then, and then maybe i might incorporate doing a mini set maybe of the three um i haven't decided quite yet first variegated this is kodama so these are i guess in inspired by the little <laughs> those little like little um forest spirits that are in the movie I just thought these colors um kind of encapsulated not only the the great forest but also just like the little the little guys in the forest so it's actually just like a really nice gradient so it goes from dark to light you can't really see it in the in the in the in the hank but it's really nice just like laid out again cannot wait to swatch all of the uh, variegated it's always like such a fun surprise getting to see what they look like and um it is quite similar but i would say that they're different so this guy is more emerald this guy is more of a nice blue and we really again, again enjoyed it so next guy i guess in relation to the forest this is nightwalker again I mean, beautiful name, first off, right off the bat. But she is my crazy little speckled girl. We just did so many different types of speckles and it just came out so nice, so cool. I think, again, I'm using the word encapsulates, but I think it just really, I really wanted to make a color for the Nightwalker. I just thought that it looked so cool, but like, how do I come up with something like that in a colorway? And I think I did, I feel like I did an okay job. I just speckled the hell out of this and it is so pretty, like stop. And then last but not least, I wanted to do something like a little bit different, wanted to try kind of different colors 
Um, and I came up with, honestly, a really nice, I don't know, like coppery maroon, not necessarily like burgundy, but like an orangey red, just like honk. <laughs> so this is Iron Town. I just, I, I wanted to try something just wild and I think it came out really nice it kind of this yarn kind of reminds me of kind of something that uh, big little yarns does and I feel like our dyeing styles are so different but this for some reason just reminds me of hers so I yeah I really liked it I thought it was something different honestly these would be great socks like literally so good or like a hat also I feel like would also look really nice um but yeah I love these guys to death i was thinking about doing sock sets but i'm not too sure with these guys because we have the sock set for the patreons but i was kind of playing with like some ideas you know like like these guys together is like a sock set and then like these guys together is like a sock set and then but then the issue is is like this guy i don't know if she's a sock set you know we didn't we can't tell if you're a sock set but then she doesn't match with any of the other ones maybe this one i don't know so these are my six colors i think <sighs> i think it's really nice to try out different colorways and try like different things and i really like the fact that they're kind of limited edition so they don't really come um all the time or are available all the time um so uh yeah they're beautiful i'll let you guys know when i'm going to do the pre-order middle of the march i think would be a really good time frame for doing a pre-order um, and i have that up for like three or four days um so that everyone can get it. Um, the Patreon yarns will be available on the secret shop kind of indefinitely. I, I guess I don't, I guess I don't plan on removing those until maybe like the end of the year. So, uh, we'll see. I haven't really decided yet, but yeah, so that's kind of, kind of the track that we are on, um, currently. Um, but yeah, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked, uh, please don't forget to comment, subscribe, push the notification bell if you know when I post next. Um, and then also be notified when we do the streams, which, which is Tuesdays and Thursdays, 1 p.m. PST. Uh, we have the Discord. I'm on Instagram. We have the Patreon. Um, and just, yeah, lovely, lovely stuff I am doing slowly but surely. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.